Hey everyone, it's John with Clear Data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new calendar within the Clear Data application. So in Clear Data right now, we're on the calendar screen. I want to make a new calendar. So to make a new calendar, I'll come up here to the top and I'll click on Scheduler. Now on the top right hand side, you'll see this big plus button that says Create New Calendar. I'll click to create a new calendar. So I need to fill out this information at the top. Okay, so to create a new calendar, I need to give each calendar a name. So I'll type in the calendar's name. Next thing I gotta do is choose my lot. So this one is the Sparks lot. And the appointment type is pretty important too. So each calendar needs to have an appointment type. So we have transportation and delivery. We've got redemption and property. So this one is my transport lot. So I'm gonna choose transport and delivery. And you're gonna wanna put in your lot contact information. Okay, next choose your time zone. And then days out on this particular one is how many days in advance can the uh, either the transport or the debtor or whoever's redeeming the vehicle, how many days out can they schedule an appointment? So I'm just going to put one day out right now. And then below this is your time interval. So this is how often you'll let people assign appointments. Okay, so I'm going to choose 20 minutes on that one. The next question is down here, what days are you open? This isn't what days is your office open? This is what days are you open to accept transports or redemptions, okay? So what I'm gonna do, we're open five days. So I'm gonna choose all five days here. And that again, just means that I'm, I'm open for transports or redemptions these five days. Now I need to put down the hours that I'm open for scheduling. So to do that, I'm gonna click on this button, add hours. And I need to choose my first day, which is Monday. And Mondays are a little bit a little bit tough for us, so I'm gonna start this one at 11 a.m. That way nobody can schedule an appointment before 11, and I'm gonna end this one at 4 p.m. Okay. Then I need to add Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay. So now I've added in my days and the times. So we've got Monday, we did that one. We have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. What's important to note here on the days is that we can have different times for each day. So on Thursday, we're gonna start taking redemptions and, and appointments at 9 a.m. We'll end at four. But on Friday, we start the same time, but we end at noon. So this is important. You can mix and match your days and times on this. Uh, maybe you're closed on Wednesdays, or maybe you're only open for a couple of hours on a Thursday. So uh, that's important there for your lots. The next thing is to choose what days your company is closed. So this is a perfect example. We're going to choose 4th of July because our office doesn't take anything on 4th of July. We'll be totally closed. So what this means is that if you choose that, your transporters or debtors on the other side won't be able to schedule on that day. So once you like everything, we're going to come back and we're just going to look at it quickly. And I think everything looks pretty perfect. We will come over here and save changes. So now you can see that we've saved this configuration. And here's my new Sparks transport lot right here.